What's up everybody? We're back here at uh checking out this Corvette. I do want to show this car. Uh go through it before we start ripping it apart because we are. I'm gonna get a car, but I'm gonna get this thing running. So some paperwork, which is kind of cool. Where'd that one? Um Kind of a weird car frame super solid uh bird cage looks really nice which is what you got to worry about these cars now the, the weird thing about this car and I, i'm still trying to figure it out is how these doors got so rusted i've been doing these corvette c3s for you know 20 years and i've had a ton of them and usually the bird cage goes frame here goes they're both solid which is important on the car the doors i've never had rust out like this so definitely replace the doors. You can get actually a, a nice set of doors um, for about 150, 200 bucks a side. So it's, it's not terrible. Uh, you just gotta get, you know, most, some of the years will fit 74, 75, 76 uh, power window door. But this car actually has 39,000 original miles. And everybody, so I'm trying to figure out what the backstory is because I have receipts for this car and in 81 had 36,000 miles. So the guy only put 3,000 miles on after 81. So you always wonder what the backstory of this car was. The story I got was that the carburetor started leaking. He pulled it off to get rebuilt. Must have had it rebuilt, parked the car and just never got back to it. They can't find the original carb. Um, I guess we can look up the date codes on these tires too. I guess it's another, just to confirm it's been off the road that long. Is there numbers matching big block car? Got power brakes, power steering. And then it's also got AC. So pretty well option car, power windows, tilt wheel. So it's, it's whoever ordered it, ordered almost all the options. Yeah, obviously not a roadster, but it does have the T-tops. We're going to pull them off next. Front bumper and rear bumper deteriorated. And actually, the guy kept all the pieces in a box for some reason. But that's common. What's nice is no hit body. It's got a couple small spots in the body. I'll show you. Let me show you this bird cage. Looks solid. You know, a little bit of rust, but nothing bad. Seats will clean up. This is all black. I just wiped it real quick with some window cleaner. So if you spend... Uh, you know, an afternoon clean these this interior up. I bet you it'll look really nice. Maybe put put some carpets in unless you want to try to save those carpets. But I think you can get the interior looking super nice, pretty cheap and pretty fast. But the rest of the body's pretty solid. Obviously, rear bumper. I don't know what these flies are. It's weird. Still got the original tire in there. I'm gonna smell that gas too. I'm assuming I'll show you couple spots right here it's not through a little stress crack here and then there's one other one right here but that's about it body work wise frame let me show you that's usually where they rust it's all solid just surface you know the car was parked in a garage which is nice that the doors still boggle my mind but all the pillar and everything solid. That's usually where they rust as well. But this is a cool project, man. This is uh, this is one of those projects that probably sit in this pole barn here, and then we'll uh, I'll find a nice set of used rallies with some tires for four or five hundred bucks. I'll throw them on. You know, I won't worry about the bumpers until we can get it running. But I do need a quadrajet carb. I do have a couple quads, but they're all for small block cars. So I'll probably have to order that. Uh, gas tank as usual, blow out the lines. Hopefully the lines are good. So, but just a stock untouched car and you just wonder why this car was parked. So obviously the carb's off, so the story kind of goes with it, but motor turns by hand real easy. Um, you know, when I first got this car, you know, you go back, is it 139, is it 39? But the more I look at it, although 
this paint will probably buff out a little bit, but you can look at the pedals yourself. Usually you can tell by the pedals, but that looks, I don't know. I don't know. Is it 39 or is it 139? So we'll try to do some research, see what we can find on this car. If it was a low mileage car, it'd be really cool, but obviously it needs total restoration. Good news is it is a big block with, oops, I almost fell there, with a ton of options. And I got it, I think, cheap for a big block, which, you know, obviously it's a project, so who knows? You know, you say cheap, but then you start getting into it, you know how that goes. But I think I can actually get this thing running. We'll uh, spray some oil in the cylinders, you know, before we even try anything. But it just looks like a stock, untouched car. Motor does turn, which is nice. Usually if these motors turn, you can get them running. But we'll take our time. We'll do it right. Put some fogging oil up in there. And uh, we'll run it off a uh, gas tank first. You know, once I clean it, I'll clean the lines out. Get a carb on there. And we'll see if she fires. And then uh, if it fires and sounds good, then I'll go through and put the new gas tank in. And if I have to put new lines in, I'll do that. You know, with any of these Corvettes, they sit at all. You're doing all four calipers. Um, most likely a brake booster and everything on this car, master cylinder. But what a cool project. This is actually, I'm contemplating on just throwing this in the back of the barn. And when my kid gets a little bit older, this would be a good one to learn on. Yeah. But we'll see. Big block. 454 Corvette. I just put some, uh, threw some rags down there so nothing gets in the motor, blew out the motor, all the dust that was on here. But pretty cool to have a nice original little car. I don't know what we're gonna do with it, we'll see. I actually think I can buff that paint out and actually look, you know, obviously paint a little bit around the lip, but I think this car could look good from 15 feet away. Um, surprisingly. All this will buff right out if you just compound, even if you have to wet sand it once. But it could be a good 10 footer, 15 footer, super cheap big block and you can cruise around and not worry about getting dinged up and scratched. So cool project guys, 454. Um, I can get a car for about five, 600 bucks, but I'll probably just, one of those cars we could throw, like I said, in the barn. I'm at a swap meet. Uh, you know, randomly this summer and I could probably find a used core carb for 50 bucks to $100 and then just rebuild it. I'll probably end up doing that. Just an update on the on the car. Let's see what else we got. The other good news is the 89 Turbo Trans Am that Meekum ripped me off on. When I say Meekum ripped me off, I haven't thrown that video up because it still pisses me off, but this car has 20,000 original miles. I emailed Meekum, the guy I know, because I actually sent him a ton of cars last year or two years ago now. And I said, what's the deal with this car? You know, the bid went on. He said, oh, super nice car, 20,000 original miles. And it is a really nice car. It's got 26,000, I believe, or 29,000 original miles. Turbo Trans Am with the Grand National Motor. Car came in, cylinder three down, so motor was toast. So they 100% lied right, right to me, and I have it in writing. Oh, there's nothing wrong with the car. Super low mileage. You know, well, came in smoking like crazy. Disaster. We, we checked all the cylinders. Cylinder three was down. So we pulled the motor, got the motor all rebuilt, put back in. Still wouldn't run right. We pulled the ECM. It was an old early 90s, you know, Excel ECM. So you couldn't even program it or anything. So I, I bought a aftermarket ECM. Didn't... Come to find out now, it didn't work. It was brand new. Um, but then I came across a um, ECM out of a Buick. I think it was a Buick, yeah. So we threw that in through the mass mass airflow sensor. L we updated to the LT1 with the translator. It still wouldn't run right. It was weird. It was uh, just idling all over the place. And uh, it actually turned out Bill, uh, who does a lot of, Helps me out a lot on these cars. This is actually his car here. 
Um, he was checking the um, idle control module and he pulled it off, put it back in and actually cracked it. Luckily for us, we put a new one on and it actually fixed the car. So car idles perfect, uh, starts right up. It's got a brand new rebuilt motor in it. So we will get to that. Um, I just put it in here for now to get out of his garage. He's got some motors and trans he's pulling out of some cars. So this will be another project coming up on the channel. Uh, we do still have to go through, at least it's mechanically running, driving, Transmission I'm going to have looked at. Uh, it's kind of shifting hard into second. So that's my next project. I'll pull this out in a week or two. A couple cool parts. Trans Am T-Tops. Anybody needs any. Um, so this will be cool. Uh, this is made 1,500 of these turbo Trans Ams. Um, so hopefully we can get this on the road, running, driving, and take it to car crews and car shows this year. So we'll pull that out this month. And we'll go through it and fix whatever needs fixed. But that's kind of my two project cars. I mean, the Trans Am, I was hoping not to be a project, what I paid for it. So I uh, don't think that car is going to sell now because I got a ton of money into it. And I actually like those cars, so I'll keep it and I'll drive that to shows. But 74 on the back burner. We got out here. And I today is first 70 degree today. So we pulled the... Uh, Pulled the Beaumont. Here's the bank. This is where Vice Grip did that uh, Grand National revival. Uh, so that's now a gun shop. A buddy of mine opened up a gun shop. He's renting the building off me. So big block. 69 Beaumont. Really cool car. So first day I had it out. It's running great. Staying cool. Car straight as an arrow black drop top big block I, I mean i don't know how you can beat that really cool car i did take the craigers off and people are pissed <laughs> they all like the craigers but this car originally came with rallies or a hubcap so i put chrome rallies and just the generic the caps that these cars came with with the rallies were just plain which are hard to find but these ones at least don't say chevy or anything it's just plain so i threw them on there i think it looks good but they're brand new tires. So uh, the tires that are on it were 10, 12 years old. So another reason why I got rid of the Kragers. I like the Kragers, they're fine, but I figured if I'm gonna update it, I might as well put brand new tires. But thanks for checking the channel, guys. We'll do some more uh, content. Maybe we'll do some content in this thing running. Uh, I know this gas is disgusting, but we'll check it out. Oh, that's not a good start. Well, that's not going to happen. All right, we need a gas tank. We'll get some grips, vice grips or pliers and get that open. Thanks for checking out, guys. 74, 454, numbers matching, project. Cool bell from the church. Thanks for checking out the channel. We'll do some updates. Maybe we'll get this thing running this month if I can find a carb.